everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the pixie palace and yes we are here again for the weekly oracle card reading starting july 24th 2022 and it is once again going to be a very interesting week a lot of messages came through in this reading and uh it's very very enlightening it shines a lot of light on different aspects of our lives that we need to take a hard look at and really, really focus on, especially in the next coming weeks. And now that we're approaching the new moon in Leo on July 28th, we are going into an energy of creativity, whatever that means for you. So you're also encouraged to look into your creative process. Is there something that needs tweaking? Is there something you want to get back to that maybe you put on the back burner? It's really, really important to open yourself to the creative flow. And I know as a content creator personally, sometimes you're really in that flow and other times you tend to get into that stale energy. And usually when you hit that stale energy, that means you need to switch something up. But this is a time where fresh new ideas will be coming in. Some of them may not be something you normally would consider. Definitely keep your heart open. This is the time to tap into your heart space and really see what would be a good thing going forward. It really could open a lot of new things for you. So this is the time to embrace that part of yourself, even if you're usually more of a logical type of personality. We all have some sort of creativity within us. It's just up to us to figure out what it is and to share that value with each other or with the world. Also, before we get into the reading, I wanted to thank all the new subscribers that have come through as of late. It has been heartwarming and almost astounding how fast this channel has been growing. We're slowly approaching that 1,000 subscriber goal. So if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Click the subscribe button. There'll be lots of new content coming your way. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of those videos. And in case you haven't heard this lately, I want you to know how proud I am of you for showing up every day and keep doing the inner work to become a better version of yourself. So without further ado, let's get into it and welcome back here we are getting all ready for the reading for this week for july 24th 2022 and as always the card readings are timeless so if you're seeing this at a different time that's perfectly fine you are here for a reason and if you're feeling led to watch this video there is a message in for you and of course i have my lovely tea with honey and lemon in my lovely rising star mug so anyway you guys are here for your reading of course i'm using my card deck oracle of the fairies as usual by karen k and of course there will be three cards drawn as usual and they'll be able to tell us what the universe wants us to know for this upcoming week okay these are the three cards that have been drawn for this week and we're going to go through each one of them Disclaimer, I am going to be propping these cards up one by one so you guys can see them. They're going to be leaning against my water bottle. I don't really have a lot of aesthetically pleasing things to lean in against, so forgive me for the roughness of it. So let's get into it. First card is Stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself very focused. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. And as you see in this card here, she literally is doing that. She's looking at the moon and the stars and she's in solitude, perhaps just enjoying the view that she's seeing because it really is life affirming. Um, if you've ever had experience of being out uh, and looking at the night sky or at a sunset or sunrise, which most of us have, you almost feel invincible because everything around you is so beautiful. And in some cases, you almost feel insignificant, even though we really aren't. It's just the beauty is so majestic and it's 
inconceivable how such a view can be created so beautifully. So it's really interesting that this card popped up. A lot of us have been in our hustle and bustle lately, uh, me included, and we just get wrapped up in everyday life. We tend to take things for granted at times. We may even be in a situation where we're a little bit muddled and really don't know what to do and we're relying on our logical thinking a little too much. We may be out of balance or maybe we're just having a tough time deciding on something or where to go with a certain situation. You are being urged to get out in nature or go to where you are in solitude and where you feel the most comfortable and the most tuned in and tapped in. You you need a you need to be in a state of presence and really just taking in your outside surroundings. Um, for most of us, it's nature, but could it even be something as simple as putting on your headphones and listening to your favorite music or meditating or being out on the lake. It could be a lot of different things, but that's just to give an example. And when you're in that state and not stressing about the answers and you really just enjoy the present moment, you take a breath, you notice how beautiful things really are, the things we may overlook in our everyday life. Maybe a moment of gratitude warms your heart. And in this, in this energy, solutions may come to you. And that is when we know to make the right decisions, the best course of action for our lives. Because when we're in this present state, we're not going against resistance. We're actually just being. We're not meant to be here in fear and in worry and stress to the point that it just ruins our lives. Yes, it may teach us a lesson we need to learn, and there's really no getting around that. Sometimes we just have to go through it. But when we stress so much, we do hit that resistant energy, and then the solutions don't come to us. Um, we may even be hanging on to something that no longer serves us, and we're so thick in that old stagnant energy that we don't allow the space for the new energy to come in that will serve us better. So when we gaze at the stars, whether you do that literally or figuratively, you will notice those answers start coming to you. It may not be a perfect answer. Heck, it may not even be an answer that you were expecting. But it will be something that can move you in the right direction. And it will help you to free yourself of worry, of stress. Sometimes it's immediate and other times it will take a little time. But as long as you show up and take those moments to be present and allow yourself to really hear what the universe is trying to tell you. And the universe can give you a lot of different signs and communicate in a lot of different ways. And as long as we're tuned into that, we will hear the universe and we will hear what it has to say. So go gaze at the stars. And we're having a new moon on July 28th. That's just right around the corner. So it's pretty fitting that we sing the moon in this card. <laughs> just a side note. Okay, the second card is Wish Wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Now this is a little bit more a practical energy as it said it right in the words there. You may have a wish or a dream goal that you're really trying to start working on or maybe you're already working on and you're not really sure um, if it's going to work out or if it's really something that you should be starting on. Maybe you don't even really have a clear defined goal that you want to achieve but you have an idea that something is pulling you in the direction of where you need to go. Okay, that was awesome. My phone decided to shut off in the middle of the reading. <laughs> anyway, back to what we were saying. 
So right now, it's time to really get detailed on your goals. Really hone in on what it is you want to accomplish. Because things are starting to really ramp up, as you may have noticed. And we are in an energy of achieving our goals, making dreams happen. But we're actually putting real action into it. Make sure that it's something that will serve you as well as others in your life or anyone you're trying to help in the world, start by writing a few goals. Maybe doing a brain dump and brainstorming. And usually the details will come from that because you'll see it in front of you and really get to figure out what your why is and what you're trying to accomplish. But when you wish wisely, good things come in and you really start getting focused is onto what you want to attract into your reality. And this is the last card, Hidden Depths. And this card is very, very meaningful. I really resonate with this, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. This is a very important message for some of you who really need to hear this. You may have a repressed memory that's really putting a monkey wrench in your life, whether you consciously or subconsciously know this. It really affects your perspective on yourself to your outside reality uh, in the way you do things, the way you label things, the way your daily life goes. When we start running away from what we need to work on in our shadow work, we really don't do ourselves favors. Now, having said this, it is okay to ask for help when you need it. It could be professional counseling, maybe confiding in a trusted friend or family member, or just really going inward and doing the shadow work. Sometimes in that process, we may lose some people in our lives. We may lose comfortable ways that we're used to doing things. And that in itself can be scary because when we embark on a new journey and a new way of being it can be exciting but it can be a little scary too and that's perfectly normal even i've dealt with this i've had traumas in my life that i really had to heal myself from i had to practice forgiveness uh, to myself as well as the people who hurt me i also had to really look within myself and see what patterns i was repeating as a response to that trauma and while that's understandable we're gonna have our triggers we're gonna have our things that we may not really want to work on because it's not comfortable it makes us vulnerable it is necessary because when we transmute all that and we really start coming into the perspective of loving ourselves again and really understanding we have value no matter what we've been through just by being our soul will become lighter. We'll start putting that baggage down. We'll start walking away from what no longer serves us. And we'll really, really start becoming a better version of ourselves. So it's really, really important to do that and not run away from it. Now, of course, there's timing as all things. You don't want to do this process when you're not entirely ready for it. We'll know when it's the right time. That's when we trust our intuition. And there are times that we'll tell ourselves we're not ready when, yeah, we actually are. We are ready. And it may just be ready enough to take the first step. Because when we let go of what no longer serves us, even if it's a little bit painful as we do it, we'll start making space for the new energy to come in, as I said with the other card. We'll start allowing love to come in and allowing beautiful new energy to give us the life we want to bring in the things that we do deserve because that's what we're here for we're here to return to ourselves we're here to remember who we are all you have to do is ask as you go into the hidden depths of your soul and there you have it those are the three cards for this week uh, again i apologize for the camera work <laughs> I didn't realize after the last card that I didn't turn the phone around. 
in the right way. Well, you know how I roll. <laughs> but hopefully you find it in your heart to forgive me for that. But anyway, I love you guys. I hope you got something out of this reading. Please feel free to comment below and let me know which card really resonated for you. I'd love to start a conversation with you. And who knows, your comment could help someone else in the community. If you like this kind of content, please feel free to click like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow, but more importantly, it gets the messages out to those who need to hear them. As we wrap up the reading, I just want to thank you for your love and support. It really means the world to me, and of course, you have my heart. Always remember, go after your dreams, and always know you are enough. Until the next time, to know yourself is to know your truth. Namaste. And of course, we have to have a video bomb from Mr. Timmy himself. Sniffing my tea and sniffing around. Yeah. Thank you, Timmy. Appreciate your butt in my video. <laughs> you know there's gonna be a blooper here. <laughs> oh my god. That's always I am um, tied I'm tongue I'm tough. I'm tongue dyed. <laughs>